Now at 1.30, screenwriters begin picketing Hollywood studios as the WGA officially goes on strike. Picketers will be out in force at virtually all of the major studios starting this afternoon. That includes the Paramount Lot Studio in Hollywood, where KTLA fights Pedro Rivera joins us live right now. Pedro? Glenn Lou, it's a sequel 15 years in the making since the last WGA strike. And now we have 11,000 union members out on the front lines here in the picket lines in front of studios like here at Paramount Studios. Take a look behind me as you see the crowd. It has continued to grow. Uh, around 12 o'clock, we started seeing a few members show up. And now I want to give you guys a shot uh, from Sky 5 overhead so you can see just how many people are out here, how many riders on the picket lines. We are talking about hundreds and hundreds of riders in their blue shirts all to demand that uh, they get paid more, better wages, better working conditions. This means that some of your favorite late night shows uh, featuring Jimmy Kimmel, Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Fallon, all those shows are going to be shut down. Your favorite series, it's coming back for another season. Well, you could possibly uh, expect a delay if a deal is not made between the writers and the studios. Even revising a, strip, uh, a script at this time is prohibited by uh, union rules. Now, a big issue for the writers is the growth of streaming platforms. They say that a decade ago, networks, they would order series for anywhere between 15 to 20 episodes. That would give writers stable work over the course of 6 to 10 months. Now, series are shorter. They're on those streaming platforms, and they're cranking out episodes in a matter of 2 to 3 months. This has led for writers to ask for more residual pay for those hit shows that we see on streaming platforms. So I want to show you some of the contract demands that these writers are asking for. For. They're asking for increases in base pay, residual pay, contributions to pension plans, and contributions to health care plans. With the WGA saying wages have not risen with inflation and some writers needing multiple jobs just to stay afloat. But after months of negotiating, here we are, day one of this nationwide strike. The WGA, they did put out a statement this morning saying, uh, though our negotiating committee began this process with the intent on making a fair deal, the studio's responses have been wholly insufficient given the existential crisis writers are facing. Back here on the picket lines, writers I spoke with agree. It's nice to see fellow members of the Guild stand up for our cause and uh, it's rare that we see each other come out in numbers like this, so it's really fortifying to see us all together. And um, I don't know how long it's going to take, but um, we feel pretty committed and uh, time will tell. And the studios are defending their stance, releasing a statement that reads uh, from the uh, AMPTP. They say they indicated to the WGA that they are prepared to improve its offer, but was unwilling to do so because of the magnitude of other proposals still on the table that the guild continues to insist upon. So the question many of you have there ask, out there have is how long will this strike last? And if you ask these picketers here, they say as long as it takes. We know the last WGA strike in uh, 2007, it lasted 100 days. The longest strike from 1988 was 158 days. So it's going to be interesting times to see how long this lasts and also uh, uh, an interesting fact here is you do have uh, these studios needing to negotiate new contracts with SAG after the Actors Union. You also have the Directors Guild of America. The, both contracts are set to expire at the end of June. So it's a lot of work these studios need to do, not only with future unions, but right here with the WGA, who are now looking uh, to make their voices heard and hopefully get a new contract. Of course, stay with us and we'll continue to keep you updated on this strike as you're expected to drive through Hollywood anywhere past these studios and see these blue shirts and a lot of honking cars as well. Back to you. All right, Pedro Rivera, thank you.